Well, uh, yes, welcome, welcome, welcome one and all to another Mikey Live program. I'm your host, Mikey Hutchinson, and the pleasure is mine, as always, to be here with you for another day, another night, whatever time of the day or night you're looking at this program. This is what we call news discussed, not told. You know, we're discussing what's taking place in the news, whether it is here in Grenada, the spice I love the Caribbean, Trinidad, Tobago, or other parts of the world, we're here to tell you about it, all right? Things that might be important to you all right so brace all yourself all right people let's take a look and see what's making the headlines for tonight the closure and relocation of the department of the births and deaths grenada football association appoints a new senior men's national team head coach we're going to talk about that and kariku woman is still missing tokyo olympics cancelled and saint vincent pm declares holidays and rejects lockdown measures again in St. Lucia, the PM there has given the nation a failing grade after a surge in COVID-19 cases there. So we have these and more to tell you about when we return on tonight's Mikey Live program. Folks, we always look forward uh, to talking to you about these, these matters, about what's important to you. All right, now we got to let you know that the headlines was brought to you through the kind compliments of the Communal Cooperative Credit Union, Real Value IGA Supermarket, Licks Laundry Detergent, the Housing Authority of Grenada, um, the Ministry of Health, quotes Grenada Limited, Digicel, and Nawasa. Folks, so when we come back, it could be real news in all your Lily Lobo. So brace all yourself and thing. And if you have not yet done so, we'd like to encourage you to please, please, please go ahead and share the business. We're taking a break and we'll be back shortly. Hey, 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 man, hey, man, hey. Well, man, that's you make that trip. Why do all this more? Things tight since COVID, you know. And Christmas coming, I had the toys to build, I my house and my car to repair. And the wife wants you to look with, and what you want me to do? I'm expecting to do all that with more. Well, what you want me to do? Why don't go down my communal? You don't have to pay them until January. They have 20,000 in giveaway giving away. And the interest rate, low, low, low. And listen to me, I try them orders and them, never lose good who they want them. What watch? Like you have more than your ass. Choose your loan at communal giving you the money for what you want to do. It's a loan for you. You know what? I'll get them out. I'll try. Listen, listen. Where are you going on this month? Don't need it. Leave the month, man. When you go down there, the rates low, low, low. Low, low, low. <laughs> Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform. Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. Free delivery available within select locations or in-store pickup available. Sounds simple, right? It is. Stress less, live more with Real Value IGA Online Store, where good food begins. How going on, boy? Hey, hey, good old things. Hey, day easy. Yeah. Boy, in line, boy. Your house looking a real good day. Boy, it's thanks to the hardworking and professional staff at the Housing Authority of Grenada. They handled me real nice. They did my plan, they did the construction, and I didn't even have to worry about that thing. They were there with me every step of the way, supervising the job, asking me about my concerns. Giving me feedback as a house took shape. They were there from start to finish and even put the keys in the palm of my hand. I give them an A++ for customer service. Oh, it's people from housing bad boy. Boy, not bad. Excellent. If you're thinking about constructing your home, why not consult the housing authority of Grenada? You could visit them right down in the Sandino complex or give them a call 440-1015 or 440-1016 or check out their website hag473.com They go handle you, they go jog your blocks, they go draw your plan, they go tote your materials <laughs> Hey man, where you going? The Housing Authority of Grenada is your choice for affordable housing and a stress-free construction experience 
Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store now has amazing deals, special discounted prices on wedding sets, watches and selected jewelry. We sell top brand jewelry and watches like Citizen at the best price. We offer the best deals and customer service on the island. Opening hours Mondays to Saturdays 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store, located at the Esplanade Mall, St. George's, Grenada. Visit or call us today for 14-3114-232-1234 or WhatsApp 533-1581. Sale is on for a limited time only. Feel good facts. Avoid the most common causes of spreading the flu. Cover your coughs and sneezes with a tissue, dispose of it straight away, and either wash your hands or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Are you prepared for the hurricane season? Do you have a plan? Remember, water is essential in any emergency plan. Determine your family's water needs. Ensure your storage containers are full grade and store at minimum 35 gallons of water per person per day for at least one week. Understand that your planning may be different this year because of the need to protect yourself and others from COVID-19. Take the necessary actions to ensure that your household has an adequate stored water supply should there be an interruption. Be prepared. Nawasa, committed to meeting customers' needs. All right, family, welcome back. If any of you want uh, a son, about a year, and then and, and some months old, please see me at the end of the program, okay? <laughs> now, for a look at what's making the news for tonight. Now, the first thing that we're gonna tell you about, boy, is that you're advised that the um, Department of Births and uh, Deaths and Marriages will be closed tomorrow, Friday, 22nd January 2021. Now the closure is necessary to allow for the relocation of services to the original um, location which is on the first floor of the ministerial complex Sir Eric Geary Botanical Gardens. The department is expected to resume normal business operations from 8 a.m. on Monday, 25th January 2021. The management and staff of the Department of Birth, Deaths and Marriage and the Ministry of Health would like to thank the public for your cooperation and understanding and sincerely sincerely apologizes for any inconveniences this may be no thank you thank you for going back have you have you had the opportunity to go into the birds and that's where they were where they are located now where they are moving from now ha! the last time when i went there i'm like yes you're right to say butts and that yeah i mean because when you climb up that hill and had to climb that step and thing like that you know if you're in there you're badly wounded you know what I mean? So now they're re returning to their original location, which is good. So at least, yeah, you don't know, you have nothing to apologize for. Yeah, I mean, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, now the next thing that we have to tell all you about, but you might be, see this, be seeing this picture floating around on social media wondering what it is about. Now, after months of weighing its options, the Grenada Football Association said that they have selected a new senior men's national team head coach Michael Finley who served as the assistant and interim head coach of the Canada senior men's team coach has uh, uh, secured the job following the exit of former coach Shallery Joseph Finley who arrived on the island recently will commence his work following the mandatory quarantine established by the government of Grenada now, having held multiple national team positions in his native country, which includes Canada's Olympic team, the under-18, under-15 youth team, and assist, assistant coach of Canada's under-20 national team, the Canadian comes with vast experience, they say, 
within CONCACAF, including FIFA World Cup qualifying, two Gold Cups and over 150 matches from youth to senior levels. Now, as assistant coach of Canada's senior men's team under Spanish coach Benito uh, Folro, Finley played a key role, they say, in the development of the national team's program, including the identification and development of potential players. Now, uh, Finley joins the GFA from his last position as director of football development for the newly formed Canadian Premier League. Finley uh, began his coaching career as a staff coach at the British Columbia Soccer Association, which was closely followed by his promotion to director of football development for BC Soccer at the time. He was responsible for all soccer development matters within the region, while also being a member of the uh, Canada Soccer's technical committee and long-term player development working group. All right, now he was saying that I am I'm truly honored and extremely excited about this opportunity with the Grenada Football Association. 2021 provides an existing, sorry, sorry, an exciting, it provides an exciting time for the men's national team to build on their past successes along with establishing a long-term strategy for Grenada's growth and success at all levels within CONCACAF moving forward. Uh, and that's a comment coming from Finley himself. Now, the Grenada Football Association say that they would like to welcome Mr. Michael Finley to the shows and wish him every success in his stint at the island's flagship team. All right. Now, the appointment of the assistant senior men's national team coach will soon be announced. All right. All right. Well, welcome, partners. Yeah, I mean, welcome. Do let it get a run on your first week, eh? I'm just telling you. Now, here's a reminder that the Traffic Department of the Royal Grenada Police Force is wishing to advise the general public that the cancellation of the theoretical exams for January 5th and the 19th at the Grenada Trade Center was as a result of the implementation of the new public health COVID-19 regulations. However, um, they say that the authorization has been since granted to recommence theoretical exams and as such, persons affected from the aforementioned period, you are now eligible to sit, sit the exam on Friday, which is tomorrow, God's willing, from 8 a.m. Now, be, be mindful. Registration for the examination commences at 7 o'clock. Okay? Registration is at 7 at the Grenada Trade Center. Further, in keeping with public health guidelines, 20 persons will be permitted into the examination center at the following times, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., 11 a.m. to 12 noon, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., 2.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. All public health COVID-19 regulations would be followed, they say, and the traffic department of the Royal Grenada Police Force um, would like to apologize, they say, for any inconveniences likely to be caused. This woman from Carrier who is uh, still missing and the family and friends and well wishes are still asking for your help now um, this time they're asking if anyone have seen the hat being worn by this woman and if so please let them know now she went missing since the 10th. Yes, she's actually from Kariaku, Mount Royal Kariaku, Madeline Ray. All right, she's 84 years old. They say that she was last seen at around 11.30 on the 10th of January 2021 at her home. All right, now since then, several such teams have been mounted to search for her, but no success now they are taking their such efforts one step further in asking anyone who have seen the hat being worn in this picture or if you have seen it anywhere at all please inform authorities or family the family members are desperately trying to um, get her home all right well we can only wish the best 
um, to the family, you know, continue your search. In situations like these, we can be tempted to um, uh, look outside of the box. And sometimes you just need to look inside the box. Not outside, inside the box. And when I say that, I mean that um, for all, 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 100% of the times that I've ever checked um, for the past few years of persons who've gone missing, um, elderly folks who have gone missing they are within close proximity of their home i know sometimes you may be tempted to um in your efforts to to intensify your search you your interpret interpretation of intensifying is going far and wide yeah but you do not you may not need to go far and wide you may need to concentrate your forces within uh, uh, the immediate parameters of where she was last seen, all right? So don't go searching the whole of Carrier Coup um, and think that you are working hard. You need to work smart and um, search the, the village, right? Um, where, she, where she was last seen and if you did it once, do it again. If you did it twice, do it again. If you did it three times, do it again. If you did it four times, do it again. Yes, you may think that you have exhausted um, all of the areas and you may think that it's time to now go even wider. You can go wider, but not too wide. Uh, unrealistically wide. Okay? And uh, we hope that you will, uh, you guys may um, get some good news, all right? But um, it's a tough situation, I know, for the families who are involved in this. It's, 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 it's tough. I know how tough it is. <sighs> All right. Okay. We continue. Um, maybe you can incorporate, um, you can co incorporate technology. Um, you can try probably using drones, uh, you know. Uh, it, it, it can and, and everything, every possible thing that you, 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 can, you can think about, all right? Um, but keep trying, keep trying, okay? People don't just go disappearing like that. They are somewhere, okay? They are somewhere. Don't lose hope. They are somewhere and you need to try harder, all right? And I know that you've tried hard, but you need to try harder. Okay. Yeah, boy. I don't know, man. <sighs> you know, sometimes it, it, it really, it breaks my heart, honestly. I think that's one of my weaknesses, um, you know, to, for, for children and for elderly folks. You know, when somebody have lived their life, all their life, and they've made their contribution, they've done everything that they needed to do. And then, you know, um, it so happens that in their final years, um, this is, this is what they have to deal with or their family have to deal with. They've not had to deal with that kind of difficulty before. The other day, my son fell and, you know, my heart broke. I felt like my, my life was going to turn upside down, um, you know, just running and he fell. And, um, you know, you, you wonder why it is sometimes that children and elderly people and vulnerable people, in fact, have to go through certain, certain things. You know, if only they had the strength and the ability themselves, probably they'll prevent themselves from going through, through certain situations, right? And then sometimes it makes you question certain things, if you know what I mean, right? I get real vexed now. You know, I get vexed. I, 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 to be quite honest, I got vexed with God. You know, I'm like, God, why would you allow my son to fall? You know, he's so innocent. Why would you allow him to fall? You know, and his, his mouth is bleeding and why? 
you know that kind of thing but you know you, you this we all do it right when we when our family ends up in tragedy we all do it so don't look like me not i'm just straight up you know don't look like me look at me like you know i'm an antichrist no, no i'm just saying when you're when you're faced with these circumstances in your life you're sometimes left to question you know why it is that people who are vulnerable ends up having to deal with some see some little boy being raped by a by by his family member or by somebody who's left in his care like what the hell like what the hell like why you know why does it have to be that way if if man if man in his evil ways have done certain things and we deserve punishment in one way or the next what does that have to do with the children what does that have to do with the children? Why is the child suffering? Why is the old people suffering? You know? And it breaks you, right? It breaks you. You know? It, it doesn't matter how, how, how Christian you pretend to be. I ain't pretending to be nothing. That's just the reality. It doesn't matter how many Hail Marys you see at night. It doesn't matter how many times you go to church. But when these situations arise, you start questioning. You understand? It's just what it is. And just going back to the point, I just hope that the family will get some form of closure. You understand? I know I feel your pain. I feel your pain. You know? And also for every other family who has these demons to deal with. Not that you, I wouldn't say that you deserve it. We've all done things and maybe have paid for it 10 times over and over again. Some of our transgressions. And probably we'll never understand why. You know there's a song, Father alone will understand why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, understand? Probably it's not within our nature to ever understand. You know, and they say God knows why. But you see, in our curious minds, it doesn't, that is just not enough. You know? In our thinking minds, and I know that we, we're going off track a bit, but you know for what it is. This is news discussed, not told, right? In our, in our curious and probing and thinking minds, it cannot, it doesn't satisfy us to know that when we are said, when we are told that God knows why. When we are told that it happened for a reason. When we are told that, um, you know, such is life. It's hard. For the right thinking man to simply sit and accept that. You know? Anyway. <sighs> yeah, let me leave that alone, eh? You see, any, y'all, anytime you see come to emotional stories like that, just say, Mikey, move on. Because, you know, because we end up here every time. Because it breaks me. When I tell you it breaks me, it breaks me. You know? It gets me out of character. Anyway, let's go. Uh, where were we? Um, where were we? I lost my way. Okay. Okay. So, yesterday we were telling you that a new senator was to be appointed today by the governor general and uh, it has happened all right uh, many of you may know mr matthew joseph as a teacher a former teacher of um, whether it is that you went to the saint john roman catholic school whether it is that you went to the florida government school um, and even if you didn't go to a school he thought but you might have found some way of interacting with him whether it has to do with agriculture once you're in st john you know this man you've interacted with him um he is now the newly appointed senator and he says that his objective is just to serve nothing else he wants to serve at a time when he can and so that is why he's there and he wants to make the world a better place that's very ambitious but he's starting with grenada and so he says that you know he's so excited um, to serve in his capacity as a senator, you know, I am happy to see you there, sir. And uh, may all, I mean, I wish you all the best. 
we are moving on. Okay. Earlier, the next thing that we have to tell earlier about boy. So the Japanese government has decided the Tokyo Olympics cannot go ahead this summer after they were postponed from last year, according to a, a special report. Now they say that the senior cabinet members have privately agreed the games are doomed because of the pandemic and are now looking to recoup the competition at the next available slot 2031. <laughs> Who do you believe that 2031 now? They say no one wants to be the first to say so, but uh, the consensus is that it's too difficult. That's according to a government source. You understand? So they say it's, it just cannot happen. You know, they've been trying, but it just will not happen. That's tough, right? Oh, yeah. Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez of St. Vincent and the Grenadines on Monday again rejected the imposition of curfews a state of emergency and outright lockdown measures in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. He, however, announced public holidays this coming Friday and Monday, saying the strain of the pandemic and the ongoing um, effusive eruption of the La Soufrière volcano is beginning to show on the faces of citizens. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Ralgon. I like you, you know. You know, but try that in Grenada. Well, probably these measures, um, opposing measures, is a direct reflection of the culture, the cultural norms of the, the islands. Despite how close we are, probably we are so different. Because you make a joke and tell Grenadians, you're giving them Friday and Monday of ha! <laughs> Carnival on Friday, Juve on Saturday, Cambole on Sunday, Bacchanal on Monday, and still, if you look sharp, they call in and say they can't make it to work Tuesday. I kid you not. So, I will summarize it by saying what we are seeing here in the differences of approaches by the um, two governments probably is a direct reflection of the cultural norms. I guess. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, we all know that the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines scoffed at the Grenadian Prime Minister when speaking about curfews. And so we understand that the Prime Minister there is not going to entertain any such. But he decided to give them a Friday and a Monday off. Knock yourself out. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> he said, we perhaps need, as a people, to pause, to reflect, to act more assuredly in ways which are inclusive, in solidarity with each other, and to be engaged fully for the long haul ahead. You know, he said all of that in a national address. Yeah, that's that. Tell Keith Mitchell tried that. I dare you. Call me boy. What's Keith number again? <laughs> oh, God. I ball when I hear that. You know what I mean? But no, on a serious note, I mean, yeah, yeah, you. Okay? Differences of culture. Let me daddy. Yeah? Yeah? A little bad as Grenadians. That what happened. Let Grenada. Let Grenada. Oh, God. You see, all of all making them people embarrass us. You understand? Know, because no, we can't try that. No, we can't try that. Just make a joke. Watch now. Just make a joke and say, Hal. <laughs> they don't want to hear the rest of it. It's a rap. Anyway, let's take a trip to, let's take a trip to, um, you know, fellow Grenadians. Yeah, like, like, let me keep now. Fellow Grenadians. Um, we know that things have been hard on you for the past few months. You have felt the effects of the COVID-19. Your families have lost their jobs. Some were laid off. 
something gaining four percent anytime soon you have rallied with us and you have shown that you are willing to make the sacrifices Canadians, as a result of those sacrifices, your government have decided to declare Friday and Monday a half. Whoop! They don't want to hear more. It's a wrap. Anyway, let me that talk. <laughs> let me that talk. So let's go in St. Lucia now, people. The Prime Minister there is irate. For want of a better word, he has given the people of St. Lucia a failing grade when it comes to response to the COVID-19 pandemic. He says it's not that hard. Just follow the protocols and all will be fine. All you, he has given them a failing grade. As you will hear in this report by the HTS News Force. On this matter, are we looking for time? All you, let me go from one from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Now let's go to St. Lucia for this report. Like when we get a report card and it's not good news, we must accept that we are accountable and we're in control of our own actions. And as such, we must take responsibility for the results. A failing grade for St. Lucia's COVID-19 compliance efforts. As positive cases pop up all over the island, who is to blame for the staggering rise in the numbers following the festive season? According to Prime Minister Alan Chastney, the onus is on the citizenry who have been found wanting in the compliance of established protocols. He made an impassioned plea to the nation to think about the consequences of going against the tried and tested protocols. We should be outraged, outraged as a, as a public that the behavior that we've had was so irresponsible during the Christmas and New Year's that it's affected kids going back to school. How is it that they don't matter? Why are we not getting mad at ourselves? And that's why I say, let's treat this as a report card. And we have a, a failing grade at this point. We have no one else to blame but ourselves. The CMO cited the high risk in international markets, illegal entry, non-adherence by home quarantine individuals and guests, and non-compliance to proper mask wearing as the biggest threats. However, there has been uproar in some quarters regarding the newly outlined measures, specifically the 21-day ban on liquor sales and public consumption of alcohol. Taiwan and some other countries around the world have shown you can have school, you can go to business, you can do all the things that you want to do. Follow the protocols. Follow the protocols. That's all we have to do. We control our own destiny and we can have it all. We can go to school, we can be partying, we can do all the things we want to do. Follow the protocols. But in the absence of that, this is to try to be a reminder and to regain some of the space that we have lost. In the midst of the battle to save both lives and livelihoods, the Prime Minister is calling for a balanced approach and a broader understanding of the importance of maintaining steady visitor arrivals for the island's continued economic viability. You have to really look at this from an entire perspective and not uh, to just look at it from a traditional perspective. We're not speaking with apples to apples at this point. And this is why in my introduction, I was really trying to give all of you, the public of St. Lucia, a sense of the difficulty in finding this balance. But it's a balance that we must be able to find. The Centers for Disease Control, CDC, slapped St. Lucia on Tuesday, January 19, 2021, with a level 4 rating, indicative of a very high level of COVID-19. Travelers will now have to take three PCR tests, one to enter St. Lucia, another to depart the island, and one upon return to their country. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force. 
Oi, 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 see mass? Anyway, <clears throat> well, give me a two minutes now. Let me drink some water and come back. Um, when we come back, we've got the national report. We've got the weather. So, yeah, give me a two minutes. We're coming. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man. Hey. Well, man, next few weeks after that trip, why do all this more? Things tight since COVID, you know. And Christmas coming. I had the toys to build. I me house. I me car to repair. And the wife wants to look with. And what you want me to do? I'm expect to do all that with more. But what you want me to do? Why do I go down my commune? You don't have to pay them until January. They have 20,000 in giveaway giving away. And the interest rate low, low, low. And listen to me. I try them orders and them. Them people good. Who they want them on? What watch? Like you have more than your ass. Choose your loan that communal giving you the money for what you want to do. It's a loan for you. You know what? I'll get them out, try. Listen, listen. Where are you going on this month? Don't need it. Leave the month, man. When you go down there, the rates low, low, low. Low, low, low. <laughs> Your whites aren't looking whiter and brighter. Just give them links. If your clothes isn't feeling soft and smelling fresh and scented all day, give them licks. If your dishwashing liquid doesn't smell like lemon, protects your hands with vitamin E and gets rid of that stubborn grease, just give them licks. Just now. So that old smell, stain, grease mark, and dust still on your floor? Power! Licks for them! If your toilet still has those stains and dirt marks? Licks! So the colors fading and the stains still in your clothes, huh? Licks! 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 Your product's giving you licks? Then choose licks from Walker Enterprises. Also available at all leading supermarkets. Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform. Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. Free delivery available within select locations or in-store pickup available. Sounds simple, right? It is. Stress less, live more with Real Value IGA Online Store, where good food begins. How going on, boy? Hey, hey, good old things. Hey, the easy. Yeah. Boy, in line, boy. Your house looking a real good day. Boy, it's thanks to the hardworking and professional staff at the Housing Authority of Grenada. They handled me real nice. They did my plan, they did the construction, and I didn't even have to worry about that thing. They were there with me every step of the way, supervising the job, asking me about my concerns. Giving me feedback as a house took shape, they were there from start to finish and even put the keys in the palm of my hand. I give them an A++ for customer service. Oh, it's people from housing bad boy. Boy, not bad. Excellent. If you're thinking about constructing your home, why not consult the housing authority of Grenada? You could visit them right down in the Sandino complex or give them a call 440-1015 or 440-1016 or check out their website hag473.com They go handle you, they go jog your blocks, they go draw your plan, they go tote your materials <laughs> Hey man, where you going? The Housing Authority of Grenada is your choice for affordable housing and a stress-free construction experience Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store now has amazing deals, special discounted prices on wedding sets, watches and selected jewelry. We sell top brand jewelry and watches like Citizen at the best price. We offer the best deals and customer service on the island. Opening hours Mondays to Saturdays 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Diamond Intercontinental Jewelry Store, located at the Esplanade Mall, St. George's, Grenada. Visit or call us today for 143114-232-1234 or WhatsApp 533-1581. Sale is on for a limited time only. 
feel good facts. Avoid the most common causes of spreading the flu. Cover your coughs and sneezes with a tissue, dispose of it straight away, and either wash your hands or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Are you prepared for the hurricane season? Do you have a plan? Remember, water is essential in any emergency plan. Determine your family's water needs. Ensure your storage containers are full grade and store at minimum 35 gallons of water per person per day for at least one week. Understand that your planning may be different this year because of the need to protect yourself and others from COVID-19. Take the necessary actions to ensure that your household has an adequate stored water supply should there be an interruption. Be prepared. Nawasa, committed to meeting customers' needs. Showtime shop at Quartz. We got all the things you want. It's showtime at Quartz. Shop today and save up to 30% off on selected Whirlpool Cooker. Plus, get a chance to win amazing weekly prizes with purchases of $299 and over. So don't delay. Get what you need now and pay absolutely nothing until 2021. A message by the Grenada Distillers Limited. You want a hand sanitizer to do three things. Kill germs, be gentle, and to go where you go. You can get all of that in our hand sanitizer. Hard on germs, gentle on hands, affordable. Remember, hand sanitizers contain alcohol. Keep away from heat and flames and avoid contact with eyes. Available at retailers island-wide. A message by the Grenada Distillers Limited. And uh, folks, it is now time for the National Report. Education Minister advises that Grenada's 2035 strategic goals depend on government's ability to address the energy sector. We'll have details of this story and more in the National Report. Welcome back. With the details to the news for Thursday, January 21st, 2021, I am Sharia Noel. Education Minister Honorable Emmeline Peer says a huge portion of the 2035 strategic goals and plans is hinged on the conversation and decisions government make now on the future of energy. Minister Peer said addressing the cost and availability of electricity to Grenadians now creates a better avenue for future investments and development. The Education Minister was at the time addressing colleagues during a recent meeting of the House of Representatives, where she gave support to government's pre-purchase of Greenleck shares in a $63 million US dollar settlement agreement with WRB Enterprises. If we are not able to address this issue now, the 2035 plan that we speak about, forget it. Because a lot of what is in it, we would never be able to achieve if we don't address the issue of high electricity rates in Grenada. 
This government must be credited for its foresight, its vision, and the boldness of putting people first again. Minister Peer also addressed rumors that have been circulating on social media, citing the government's refusal to pay public officers 4% salary increase while being willing to pay $60 million to repurchase the shares in Greenleck. She said the two cannot be compared. Minister Peer added that the court's ruling does not take into account Grenada's capital and recurrent expenditure, but rather that a payment must be made. Talking about recurrent and capital expenditures and what government could do and cannot do and can pay and cannot pay is one thing. But I expand my mind to think about what if government did not have the savings to meet that expenditure? What if, just what if, there was a situation, because we never asked for this, Mr. Deputy Speaker, we never asked for this. The court ruled that we had to meet this cost. We had to buy back the shares. It wasn't a request that the government went to make. So you can literally say that the government was forced into this situation. But just what if, Mr. Speaker, Deputy Speaker, that the government did not have the savings and was not in a position to easily and readily make that payment? And you know what I see? <laughs> Greater disaster, more noise. Because when the court garnish the government accounts, they don't care about current and expenditures that relates to capital and recurrent. What they know is that the government has to pay. Moving along, 60 HD 8-inch devices equipped with a screen protector and case were handed over from the National Telecommunications Regulatory Commission, NTRC, to the Grenada Community Development Agency, Grand Code, on Thursday. Krista Burke Medford is the administrator of the Universal Service Fund, a program of the NTRC which places emphasis on special interest groups, educational institutions, and others in the integration of ICT throughout Grenada. During the ceremony at the NTRC's headquarters on Morris Bishop Highway, she said that they are happy to support Grand Quarter's Student Assistance Program, which provides support to low-income families. These devices are funded by the NTRC under our Universal Service Fund Program. This program was established in 2000 under the Telecommunications Act, with the primary goal to expand access to communications to our unserved and underserved areas. These 60 tablets, like many of our previous and ongoing projects, would further the goal of Universal Service Fund to expand access to telecommunications, targeting 60 households. We urge students who would be recipients of these devices to take care of these devices, recognizing the resources that was expended to provide the access to you such that you can benefit through access to your education. And also, the ability to benefit from research depends on that device being in good working condition. We also encourage Grand Coder, and I know we, the discussion, we already started that discussion with Grand Coder, to ensure that the framework is in place to provide support to ensure continuity and sustainability of the program. Grand Coda, which has committed to the development of rural communities in Grenada for over 30 years, partnered with the NTRC, citing the importance of the utilization of technology in schools, curriculum, especially as online learning has become the norm. Benny Langai, Deputy Secretary General of Grand Coda, was honored to receive the tablets on behalf of the organization. I want to assure the NTRC that the tablets will be well utilized. And I say that out of the confidence of how children have been able to grasp what the program, embrace what the program offers, and really, really move up. Help to begin to change the socioeconomic conditions of themselves, their households. Very important. This is the National Report. The news continues after the break. Are you gonna wear your mask today? It's 
see everywhere you go There are rules you got to follow So don't you say COVID-19 will delay Take the opportunity To save your community Don't be that guy Put a mask on your face If you're heading outside It's your life, my life, more lives We'll be taken if we don't try If you feel any symptoms Call the hotline Stay inside until you feel fine Six feet away every day Keep COVID-19 far from away Keep Grenada safe Be COVID-19 smart Welcome back. Young people in Grenada are being encouraged to participate in the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank ECCB and Regional Security System Asset Recovery Unit 2021 Creative Youth Competition. The competition, which focuses on art, is designed to allow students ages 13 to 19 within the eight ECCB member countries to demonstrate their creativity, critical thinking, skills, and talents through various genres, including essay writing, poetry, songwriting, and art. This year, students who wish to participate in the art contest will be required to create a piece on one of the following focus areas. One, evolution of payment methods. How will the use of money transform in the future? Two, women, the forgotten resource. Equal opportunities for women in the workplace and society and the rise of domestic and social ills in the face of COVID-19. The entries will be judged in two categories, ages 13 to 16 and 17 to 19. Cash prizes, tokens and trophies amounting to $26,000 will be awarded to the top three winners, their respective schools and teachers who mentor the students in the creation of their pieces. These submissions must be made by April 2, 2021. Entries must be submitted to the ECCB headquarters or banks, agency offices in the respective member countries. And finally in the news, the public is advised that the Department of Births, Deaths and Marriages will be closed tomorrow, Friday 22nd, January 2021. The closure is necessary to allow for the relocation of services to the original location, which is on the first floor of the ministerial complex, Sir Eric Gary Botanical Gardens. The department is expected to resume normal business operations from 8 a.m. on Monday, January 25th. The management and staff of the Department of Births, Deaths and Marriages and the Ministry of Health thank the public for its cooperation and understanding and sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. And that story brings us to the end of the National Report for Thursday, January 21st, 2021. Now for a recap of the top story. Education Minister advises that Grenada's 2035 strategic goals depend on government's ability to address the energy sector. On behalf of the entire news and production team, I'm Sharia Noel, thanking you for viewing. And uh, we'd like to say thank you to the folks uh, who um, organize the national report, the folks at the JIS, all right? And now for a look at the weather, uh, let's see what's taking place there, all right? And we want to big up all the, the loyal viewers of the program right now, all right? <clears throat> so uh, tonight's uh, weather, uh, generally fair and breezy, becoming partly cloudy to cloudy occasionally. Um, with few brief to widely scattered showers, maximum um, temperature for today was 30.5 degrees Celsius, minimum 24.5 degrees Celsius. Winds east northeasterly to east southeasterly at 12 to 22 miles per hour. 
sees slight to moderate waves three to five feet in open waters and that's our weather report and um in terms of the, the people who are tuned in let's say big up to Dolores, cynthia shewin as uh, linton and mom no he didn't fly any kite today <coughs> yvonne um richard <laughs> mama guinea real west uh, zaka rose vicky jennifer kirin java um cassie big up cassie and the whole crew big up to you all right cassie warm to you adonna rose kirin Cassie sending hugs now. Uh, who else is it um, with us? The whole family, the whole Mikey for Life family would like to say thank you for watching. Patty, Michelle the first and the second, Wendy, um, blessings to you as well. Eunice, Suzette, where's the other Suzette? <coughs> hmm? Eunice, pick up your status as well, all right? <coughs> and may God bless you guys and we're going to touch base again tomorrow, God's willing. <laughs> it's going to be Friday, so you know how we flex on Fridays. Take care of yourselves, take care of your families, all right? Take care of them. Life is short. Try to um, live to the fullest. All right. Take care. <laughs> all the best. In five, four, three, two, one, we all say, Ja, no blessings.